is Nigel Mansell, Ayrton Senna, Ricardo Pedrezzi, Michael Schumacher and Johnny Herbert, while Formula One returnee Christian Vittipaldi parks his Minardi Lamborghini in the gravel. And that looks like a stopped engine for Christian Vittipaldi, of course. Christian having his first Grand Prix since way back at the beginning of July at Manicura, where he had a little injury to his neck and cracked vertebrae. So the Minardi team really, over the past four or two Grand Prix, had a very difficult time indeed. And Christian Vittipaldi coming back and finding things really not much better. The best news, in fact, for Vittipaldi is that Gustav Bruno, the man responsible for the march, a Denlinger and a Fettier driving, he is going to act as a consultant to the Minardi team. And Gustav Bruno, in my book, is a very, very able engineer designer indeed. And I would hope to see very shortly improvements appearing in that Minardi car. And of course, Gustav Renner, who works for Ferrari, works for ATS, designed to Real. One choice. More wave yellow flag. We assume that's four. Oh dear me, what's going on there? Well, Suzuki not going. Only Nigel Mansell is just confirming what we've known all year. He is the dominant factor. His Williams Renault, and it is his car, not Patrese's. But it is not the car, it's the difference between the two drivers. We have seen it throughout the year. Mansell has dominated Patrese. And I don't know quite what's gone wrong for Ricardo Patrese. Over the last three Grand Prix, he's lost his own personal momentum. Maybe he's lost a little bit of confidence. Anyway, Mansell is the dominant man here this weekend. Tomorrow, 